Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'd like to express my gratitude to Arizona State University team, as well as my Coursera projects, and in terms of this assignment, my board members. Uh, I'd like to uh, quickly get down to brass tacks uh, by sharing uh, the presentation uh, that I've uh, prepared in terms of uh, financial analysis. So as you can see, of the financial analysis includes the financial year of uh, 2018. And as a consequence, uh, we're going to uh, concentrate on the uh, 2018 here in the chart that, is, uh, that you can see in my screen. And there are also the other years for your reference, 2016 and 2017. However, uh, we're not going to exactly uh, detail them out. Instead, we're going to focus on 2018 as was mentioned before. Uh, in the first place, I'd like to tell you that uh, there might be some uh, metrics or the terminology that you might not be aware of. Uh, however, you don't have to uh, worry about any of them because uh, we have the explanatory uh, ex explanation of these terms. And so the first of all, uh, uh, there is a revenue and you, you can see here, revenue is the general uh, assets, uh, financial assets that, that our company uh, earned during the 2018. And COGS is the short version of our, uh, it stands for cost of goods sold. In addition to that, we have here uh, gross profit and depreciation. Uh, depreciation is for, uh, it is used for, for the cost that is being allocated for uh, the outdated facilities and techno the technological device and so forth. Uh, moreover, we have here, uh, SGNA or selling general and administrative costs, interest, earning, uh, earning before tax, or in other words, we, have, we can uh, shorten it down to EBT. And at the end, uh, as a low, uh, low abiding citizen or a low, uh, low abiding citizen, we have to pay for uh, pay the taxes to the government. And at the end, net earnings is what we have. Uh, here, uh, in order to compare the consecutive years of, from 2016, uh, you might see that uh, in the first year, uh, or uh, when we started up our company, we uh, we had three billion three billion dollars. So uh, this is three billion dollars. Let me explain in advance because uh, the numbers here is used in terms of millions. So you, you can say it in two ways. Uh, 300, uh, 3,000 uh, million or $3 billion. It, it doesn't matter whichever is easier for you to pronounce. You can choose the, uh, any of them. And the next year, it, uh, it escalated to 4 billion. And in the upcoming year, or that's in 2018, uh, it was uh, 5 billion dollars. And in order to clear the situation out, uh, this chart is taken from the uh, corporatefinanceinstitute.com, which you can see under the uh, under the chart here. Uh, so the, this is the main source. Uh, therefore, I'm using my imagination in order to explain that wherever uh, this company might go through in 2018. So. Uh, there are some uh, expenses that you can see, COGC, COGS, so let's explain it from here. So uh, cost of goods uh, are escalated due to, uh, due to two reasons, one of which is the new branches in the United States, Canada, Australia, and South Africa, uh, in Johannesburg, I mean. And <clears throat> do, do, you know, on account of this reason, uh, it contributed directly to the cost of goods sold. And the second reason is that the uh, escalating, uh, escalating uh, competi competition prices uh, that also uh, cost us some uh, expenditure and we had to allot some uh, funds to, uh, to, to compensate this uh, process. So, uh, or 
October, we had uh, another main uh, expenditure category, which is called depreciation. Uh, there were uh, two buildings in the Australia. Uh, in, in Australia, we, we had two buildings in Australia. In the head, uh, one of them uh, is the uh, Australian headquarters, and the other one is the just uh, uh, the building beside that. Uh, they had to re be renovated, and uh, also in uh, Tokyo, in Japan, uh, we, we had three uh, company cars that had to be. Uh, and they were outdated. They were they had to be changed. Therefore, uh, we uh, we just uh, spent some uh, finances in order to uh, compensate that process. So, in general, and administrative costs uh, also had some contribution uh, to our uh, <coughs> to our sales process. And uh, as uh, as the the global company, we had the interest that we had to pay to the to the uh, to the banks, and after uh, after that, we had the earning before tax. And uh, as you can see from the chart here, there are uh, in, in the first year there was no uh, tax applied to the uh, no uh, there was no taxation applied to our company because it, uh, we were a startup company and the government. Led us and assisted us greatly, and I'd like to thank the government as well uh, in, in this respect. And the second year, uh, we had twenty billion dollars of uh, twenty twenty billion dollars, uh, indeed twenty million dollars of uh, expenditure uh, for the tax and. In the final year, which I'm talking about, in 2018, we have $225 million of taxes that we paid to the government. And uh, as a result, uh, we, we had net earnings of uh, seven, uh, $725 million. So uh, it's, uh, it's completely obvious that uh, we had the revenue in 2018 uh, $5 billion, but net earnings are uh, seven, uh, $725 million. Uh, because of uh, high expenditures uh, that we had to allocate for cost of goods uh, for sale, uh, uh, th there were two uh, factors uh, that I said before, uh, one of which is new branches, and the other one was the increasing prices of the, uh, com our competitors. Uh, as a, a consequently, uh, we, we had uh, we had less uh, net earnings. But again, we're going to uh, invest this money to the uh, to the next year's uh, ca capital budget in order to uh, increase our exposure. And let's just have a look at the future projections. So. Uh, Infrastructure and transport system was the dominant factors that uh, were the dominant factors uh, that had an impact over our, our cost of goods and sales, specifically in China and Japan, because our branches here are located in the rural, remote areas, and the uh, in e either of these situations, uh, none of the governments had the uh, had the compliance or a willingness to built transport system and infrastructure in 2018. Uh, however, uh, from, from uh, on, on the record, I heard uh, from the Ch Ch from the Chinese uh, from the Chinese uh, uh, government and uh, Japanese government that uh, they are going to be, start to build infrastructure and transport system. Uh, probably is going to be uh, completed by the end of. Uh, by the end of the year, uh, which means that for 2020 is going to be more productive. Technology is also uh, technology was another factor that we had to take into consideration uh, because uh, in the technology, uh, in terms of new technology that have been emerged uh, in, in, the, in Switzerland, uh, we've already negotiated about the cost of the uh, technology. Uh, that we're gonna buy, and the latest, uh, only the last uh, step 
uh, remains uh, that have to be est established, which means uh, signing the contract altogether. And local employment, <clears throat> yeah, this is another factor. Uh, local employment is going to have uh, more fruitful effects on our uh, branches because uh, to date we've been sending our employees from the United States to uh, to China, to Australia, and to New Zealand, uh, specifically in these three countries, uh, and we don't have any uh, you know, we don't have any permission to uh, recruit the Chinese workers here. Uh, however, and uh, sending uh, the workers from America, from the United States to uh, China, is very costly. Uh, however, we will have we will have a local employment uh, uh, opportunity for 2019, uh, which is going to have uh, a very good. Uh, we will have a very good opportunity for 2019 in terms of local employment because we're going to be able to reduce the. Employment, uh, in employment cost. Moreover, uh, financial market predictions is also uh, uh, are also the uh, uh, are also another factor that we have to uh, that we will consider that is going to be very uh, great in 2019, uh, according to the uh, federal uh, federal bank, and. <clears throat> Last but not least, merger case we're going to talk about is uh, there are two uh, companies that I don't want to mention their names uh, want to merge to our company and if they merge then we're going to escalate uh, our general uh, uh, capital which is going to help us search our general sales and we'll have more exposure in this term. So uh, I'd like to thank you for watching and thank you very, very much for attendance. I hope to see you next time. Bye.